Welcome, I'm Dan. And I'm Dudley. Welcome to the show. Welcome. 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 Hello! We and welcome. welcome. No. That's no? You, no. You no? Know. Do you no. see your voice strained? No, I didn't. I wasn't even, like, uh-huh. crying. Your stranger mm. voice, it was not, it was, there was a little bit of a warble. Let's do not. it at a reasonable level. Hello. No. And they gotta know. Welcome. It's an explosion. I think they it's know when the music starts. No, no. <laughs> they need to know that we mm-hmm. mean business. Mm-hmm. Um, how you doing? We don't mean business, yeah. though. No, we don't. There's but no, that's no not the point. Here. <laughs> but they need to think we mean business. <laughs> but... But there is no business. It's not business. But uh, we they we must think we need mean play. I don't think that implies you gotta, you gotta have mixed play. business with play. Is that is that how it goes? I don't think business so. and pleasure. Are you, what are you traveling for? Pleasure or business? Business mm-hmm. or pleasure? That's what they always say to you at the at the hotels. Mm-hmm. What you traveling for? Business or pleasure? <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't even know where I was going. Uh, uh, so what you, what you been playing? Subnautica. Yeah, that. Uh, that's I'm finished though. It mm-hmm. is done. Uh-huh. I have beaten Subnautica. Oh yeah. Have you really? Mm-hmm. I finished it today. Uh huh. It it is good. Yeah. It is really. It good. is good. I've been close to beating it forever, and I haven't been playing it. Yeah. <laughs> I've I've I've. It took me fifty hours, yeah, ish, yeah, uh, two days, yeah, and then some change, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, it's solid. It is a good it's game. It's a really, it's it, really good. It is an awesome uh, game. A couple of elements that I didn't know were in the mm-hmm. there, but that were now, and yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a cool game. It, it is one of my favorites. It is. It's quite good. Mm-hmm. It's quite good. Mm-hmm. Um, interesting ending. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. That's all I will say about that. Okay, it's good. I haven't finished it. You so haven't finished even... it. I have, for one, surpassed you. Uh huh. And beaten it. Okay. And uh, should be a joyous occasion, a celebration. We rarely finish games. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Well, yeah. maybe recent mm. in recent history, mm. that's yeah. probably true. Yeah. I finished Picross. That doesn't count. That totally counts. That, that not a real totally, game. Totally counts. Um. Not, totally counts. Not no. Mm-hmm. Not at all. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, it's good. Yeah. you If you haven't played it, if you, what we talked about on the show hasn't sold you yet, then you're just stupid. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, that's not true. It's just not for them. No, they should just go buy it. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a not, it's a fairly cheap game. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is it, $30? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't buy it. Well, yeah, you're playing my copy. <laughs> so, so I have no idea how much it costs. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm, I'm... I'm haranguing our uh-huh. audience for not buying uh-huh. this game, and I never bought and it. And you did not actually buy it. So, uh-huh. yeah. So, uh, you feel good about that? It's yes. It's $25, by the way. There you go. It's, which is a steal. If a, I were actually price. going to pay for it, uh-huh. I would gladly pay $25. Uh-huh. But, uh, but How I long did, did you say it take you to beat it? 50 hours. Yeah, so you put double the uh, mm-hmm. the Daniel scale on, yeah. on money to play. Yeah. So Money to pleasure. Uh-huh. Money to pleasure. That's mm-hmm. not it, that's not how the scale works. But it, okay. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> no, it's no. The same thing. Not quite. I mean, in the, in a, the abstractest of term, maybe. Um, but, no. Abstractest? Abstractest. I don't the think most abstract of that's terms. Like, that sounds that right. better? In other words, I don't think it's <laughs> right. I think that is accurate. That you is, speak bad. Is, no, you, like, you can talk about speaking bad. Nope. As a person poorly. who speaks you bad. Speak poorly. <laughs> as a person who speaks bad, I'm telling you. Uh-huh. Is you that speak, like breaking bad? You speak bad. To speak bad. You sp- I'm going to start speaking bad. <laughs> <laughs> is that where you, like, talk about cooking meth, but you never really you do never it? You never really do it. You're all talk. <laughs> you're all talk. <laughs> I, you, you know, you're speak Damn it, Dudley, you've been talking about meth for three weeks. You're not going to do it. I might do it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know anything about chemistry. I, 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 I can get a flask. You just watch Brian Cranston. <laughs> and think you can be him. I would love to be him. He makes a lot more money than I do. <laughs> um, yes, we we must assume that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm uh, pretty I, sure it, he's both been making Malcolm more money. in the Middle and and uh, Breaking Bre- Bad has just set him up for the rest. I of I mean, his life. he he doesn't even have to care about what movies he. Does I mean, just now. indications I mean, he, on Malcolm in the Middle probably has him just oh yeah taken yeah, care well. of. 
Uh, he yeah, he doesn't even have to probably care what, got a college fund for his kid. He doesn't have to care what movies he does. That's why I he guess, does like Ninja, uh, like uh, Power, Power Rangers, Rangers uh-huh. and Godzilla. Uh-huh. You know where you know no he's one, barely in the movie. Yeah, just, uh, and it was just because he doesn't care. He's got all the money. It's just true. He got all the uh, money. Yeah. We went off on a tangent. Yeah, we did. Um, I have been watching Breaking Bad. Though. I know. I was thinking about starting it over. Again. It's quite good. The girlfriend has not seen it, and that's why I'm watching it. Yeah, it's a good I, reason. To, to, it's a good reason to dive back in. Yeah. Uh, um, my I, my girlfriend has not mm-hmm. watched. She watched like a first episode, and that was it. Uh huh. So we're now four episodes into season, or four deep, five episodes deep into. Uh, epi- se- the first season, and she liking it. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's uh, a great show. Uh-huh. And Better uh, Call Saul starts up next I month know. again. I'm really excited about that. I am, too. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, is it weird I, when I, our ums be- sync up? Uh, no. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I was told I had to bring this up that, uh, uh, I, uh... Who told you? Sh- Who um, told you that? <laughs> My girlfriend uh-huh. said to oh, talk. Oh, she tells you how to do your show she, now. She told me something hey, I should talk you. about on the show, uh-huh. which is how I haven't uh, finished making uh, her deck so we could play Destiny. Oh, again. is that the, so, so? She's she, telling you to shame yourself. Yeah, she is. <laughs> so, so I, I mean. She, that she, sounds pretty pitiful on your part. She, uh, she, uh, <laughs> you go on your show and you you shame yourself. You just, no, you rub your nose in it. <laughs> she, uh, she, ba- she didn't say it that way. Uh huh. Uh, uh, that, she, like, she didn't have to. You should uh, talk about on the show how you haven't made my deck. And I'm like, oh. ouch. <laughs> wow. Ouch. Okay. So, uh-huh. so she just, she just. She just held your balls up in front of your face and says, "She's very. She got some <laughs> passive aggressiveness." <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh man! Which her deck is made. I just haven't pulled the dice for it. Oh, and okay. the reason we haven't played is because so, one, so I haven't now, felt like now it. Now you're saying it's actually been done. And two, there's a dirt dauber flying near my face. As always, we're in. We're, this is the dirt dauber studio. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, it, it wouldn't be a show if we were not attacked by an infestation. Yes, <laughs> I hate them. <laughs> I don't know where it went now. All right. Uh, anyway, yeah, so, and the reason I haven't done it, because I got a whole bunch of new co- stuff a couple of weeks ago, and now I'm just, like, mm-hmm. overwhelmed and haven't really sat down and looked at the characters I want yeah. to play. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, I'm busy. Mm-hmm. She can wait. I got a life to live. I don't got. I don't got time for that. I'm teaching her patience. Oh, is that it? Yes. Yeah. It's a lesson. Did you Did you tell her that? No, not did her I, face. So she's hearing it now. Yes. She does listen. It's a roundabout way. And it, we're still I, within I, like the first five minutes. That's when she. <laughs> oh no, we're just out. <laughs> yeah. So she's she's. No, is no, that no, after she, the theme, theme, or does she start five minutes in? No matter. I I don't know what her her process is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she listens to the whole show now. Oh, okay. But I don't. I, so you're in trouble. Oh, I'm always in trouble. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I might as well just keep digging. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah. <laughs> That's what I played. So uh-huh. That's all you played? That's all I played. I played um, uh, Raft. I got a new game. Yeah. I'm burpy. I don't yeah. know. I'm sorry. That's just gross. <laughs> I don't know. It's the ginger ale I'm drinking. Mm-hmm. You should stop mm-hmm. that. Ginger ale. Yeah. It's a dry Canada. Yeah. Um, the um, I, I got Raft. Uh, it's an early access game. It's twenty bucks off Steam, and it's a survival game where uh, you know, like Minecraft or any other kind of building survival game, where you you start in a place and you go out and you gather things and you you just you pick a home and you go there and you build up a home somewhere and you bring all your stuff and your resources to a spot and that's where you build and make a life, right? Well, this game is the same thing. Wait a except, minute. Except uh, the, let me answer home, your question. You're, you're interrupting you're, my I'm, flow. I'm going to answer your question. You said it's li- you know those games. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Not at all. You're, you're messing up. You mine. lost me. <laughs> okay. Well, what just, what just is pretend, this? Just nod and go along. No. Um. I the, I refuse to be. Did, did you just whistle passive. through your teeth? No. <laughs> it sure sounded like it you did. Sounds like you can <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> so. You you threw off my whole flow. I don't know what you're you talking asshole. about. Asshole. <laughs> um, so you build a home. You bring your resources back to your home. Everyone's like trying to build base. a home, Dan. Yeah, exactly. That's just life. Uh, that's life. But in the game, the survival games, you usually you set up a spot. And then, uh, well, it's like that, except your home is a raft. 
and you're just it, you go where you go, your home's with you. You're floating out to sea, and it just moves along, and you just gather whatever resources happen to float by, and then you build up your home, which is a raft. Do you control where it goes? Um, not at first. Okay, so it just floats. At first, it's just floating willy nilly, and you have a little hook on a uh-huh. rope that you can throw out to grab stuff that's further away. Yeah. Or if you're brave, you can jump in the water, but the shark that kind of swarm that circles you constantly will come and bite you. Yeah. Um, uh, and he'll randomly come and take a bite out of your your raft, and you got to stab him with a spear and get him away. But um, and you, as you go, you get a paddle so you can like row the boat a direction you want to go, and, and and then you can build a sail, and then you can you, you can kind of have a lot more control. But you still kind of it still kind of pushes you downwind. You know, as it does, and uh, as sailing works, as sailing works. I mean, it kind of defies physics in a little bit when the way sailing works, but I mean, it's still an early actions game. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's really fun. I really like it. Yeah, I remember looking at it, and I'm, I'm intrigued by it. But mm-hmm. I don't know, early access. I Just, understand that. Eh, eh. But um, while you know it is early access, it it's more or less a complete game as far as I can tell. It just. It's really fun. I really like doing it, and I I can just see nothing but you know progression. The, the sky's the limit. They can add all kinds of stuff. I keep waiting to see if like some like mostly you see kind of the same junk. You got wood and plastic, and mm-hmm. every once in a while a barrel floats around that has a bunch of stuff in it, mm-hmm. and in bits of like palm leaves and stuff. And every once in a while you'll come across another raft that's like busted up and broken. Usually has a a chest on it, and it, you have to jump on it, and it starts sinking, and get your stuff off, get the stuff, and get off it. And then every once in a while, you come off with a piece of land where you can go on. If you can, you can make an anchor and like get your anchor off. And uh, excuse me, you get your anchor off. I don't. And, uh, and I don't. Park your boat offensive. next to the island, and then you can hop up on it and this, chop this down game some trees. Sounds crude. Yeah, your your offensive. your mind's taking it somewhere. But you just you said put careful. your boat in it. <laughs> And you, you, you I, I don't know what your problem is. Uh-huh. Um, I did, however, run into a problem. I was up on this island. It was like a tall island. I had to kind of hop up to get up to the top of it. And I was get, there was fruit on it, and there was trees, and I was cutting down the trees. And I look out at the, the, the ocean, and my raft is over there. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know what happened. I don't know if there was a shark around, so I don't know if he bit the line that had my anchor or there was a storm going on when I first got there, so maybe the storm broke my line. I don't know. For some reason, my ship was no longer anchored. My raft was no longer anchored and was floating away. <laughs> and I was like, So well, you lost your home? No, I did not. It sounds like you lost your home. <clears throat> I came really close to losing my home. But I said, I looked around. There were still trees and fruit for me to gather. And I was like, well, fuck it. And I ran, jumped off the island, swam after my raft. <laughs> And it was funny. Did you get it back to? Yes, yeah, so I got. I got back. No, I. I just floated on because I. I do really didn't have a way to get it back there. So we all float on. We all float on. Um, okay. But I'm really enjoying it. My raft is getting pretty big. Mm-hmm. I've got lots of like I have a water purifier and I'm getting more and more advanced stuff. How, what? How do you build a water purifier? Yeah, I think it, on it, a raft. I. I don't know. It's just, there's some kind of system. What's the science behind I, that? I, 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 it's a video game. That's the science. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to Subnautica, and there's, there's some hard science in that game. Oh, yeah? Yes. Yeah? Yes. You just get some oars, and then uh, you just oh, build a habitat. Everything else builds. It's yeah. really easy it's to build an underwater by habitat. It's a, a supercomputer that does it all for uh-huh. you. Yeah. A, uh-huh. a little wand thing. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's science. A habitat builder. That's science. It's, it's perfect. Uh-huh. That's you just convenient. create a glowy thing, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> things appear. That's, uh-huh. There's science yeah, sure. behind it. Yeah, sure. I figure when by the time space travel becomes a commonplace thing, we'll have that kind of shit. Sure. <laughs> I mean, space travel is a thing right now. I mean, common. Like, like, like everybody can do it? Yes. The common, the peasants? The commoners. You know, travel. when it's available for the peasants. Yes. I got you. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Mm-hmm. I imagine it's just going to be a shitty bus. Uh, literally shitty, or yeah, I mean, you, you've, read, you've heard about this stuff. There's shit everywhere in space. When oh yeah, the space station is just covered in a, a in layer feces. of shit. La- that's low- just that's just a fact. Yes, I mean astronauts come back from the space station and from uh, being out in space on a shuttle and everything with fecal matter in their lungs. 
That's just wonderful. That is that is a fact. That's that's you know that's poop. one reason why you want to <laughs> join the space program. Uh-huh. <laughs> poop is a problem in space. Yes, it just goes everywhere. Yeah, because you know normally you have gravity to assist you with the poop. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, but right. not in space. Not in space. We've gone way off base. We, um, we have gone off. I somewhere. I would like to take a moment to tell you I have a problem. Is it all poop? No, it's not. It has not to do. It has poop to do with in cookies. your lungs. It has to do with cookies. Uh, yes, the 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 cookie clicker. Uh huh. This is something that's been around for years. Yes, I. It's a browser-based it game, and you played it a whole bunch. I never got into it. I thought there I was a time I played it for months. Yeah, really that long. Mm-hmm. I don't remember you playing it that long. Uh, I well maybe not months. I weeks. don't think it was months. Weeks, weeks. A, for a, a week or two, probably. To probably, I think a, yeah, you, at least you a are, month, maybe a little more. I, I played it for a long it time. Long. Um, the um, so yeah, it's a browser-based game. If mm-hmm. you search Cookie Clicker, you will find it. Um, it's basically an idle game, like a yeah. And I, I never played it. I remember you getting into it and playing, and I said, "This is fucking stupid." I mean, play and I never played. It's it. a very, it's loose a very loose term. term. Uh, engaged with it. <laughs> There you go. That's um, better. So basically, the system is uh-huh. you have a cookie, a, a giant cookie, cookie, a giant cookie, uh-huh. and you click it, yep. and it, and by clicking, so it, it lives you, up to its name. It, it lives up to its title. Uh, you, by clicking it, you get cookies, and then you spin those cookies on things that give you more cookies, like yes. cursory that click for you. Yeah, auto grandmas, co- auto clickers, grandmas who uh, who Cook bake cookies. cookies for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cookie Farms, mm-hmm. Cookie Mines, yes. Cookie Temples, yes. Co- Cookie Wizard Tower, yes. uh, The Cookie Portal, mm-hmm. and then shit like that. It gets it Spacecrafts. It, you start off just making, you know, a couple hundred cookies, yeah. to thousands of cookies, tr- millions of cookies, mm-hmm. billions. I'm in the billions right now. I'm making, yeah. like, every four seconds I make a billion cookies. And, uh, yeah, it's a problem. I have had my computer on for three days now mm-hmm. because I, I keep it running. <laughs> Which is because weird I don't because know it's why hot. <laughs> it's it is really hot. hot right it is really now. hot. So you're you're running your computer all the time. Warms not not the room. pleasant. Uh, but it's worth it, Dudley. I don't, uh, know, if I don't know if it is. I I it's really addictive. I don't. I haven't figured out. I've been thinking about it, like for the last three days or whatever. Four days we've been. I've been playing it, and I can't figure out why I'm playing it. <laughs> The, it's funny because there was a point I got a there's a mobile version I got yeah. it and I did it didn't have it mm-hmm. it did not have the 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 the, the hooks the hook it didn't that is, it didn't bring you in that I don't know what it did not bring you to the yard and you're right I don't know what it is and it's something to do I think with the actual literal clicking well see there's not for me not see I'm playing point. a no clicks game. Yeah, I I click yeah. fifteen times, which gets you the first cursor, mm-hmm. and then I don't touch it. I I literally the only thing I click is that's the not things. a no click then. Well, I mean I don't click the cookies, which is actually in a thing because I got an achievement mm-hmm. for getting uh like so many, a million cookies without clicking. Yeah, and I think there are other layers to it. I'm letting it run. I only have fifteen yeah. clicks, and I have no more. Mm-hmm. I I've been generating the bare minimal. Yes, I I did the, the bare thing. minimum to get started, and I haven't clicked that cookie. Mm-hmm. So all the work is I am a hands-off cookie maker. Mm-hmm. All the other work is done by everything else. <laughs> Just your computer running all day and night. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, it's I don't know why I can't figure it out, but I keep playing. <laughs> yeah, and it's got this weird story about your cookies going on and taking over the world, and mm-hmm. it's fun because it, it's not like it actually has a real story playing out. It's just no. got like a little news tricker, mm-hmm. ticker, ticker yeah. thing that just displays random quotes and news based headlines on, and stuff. Usually based on what ha- what you have if yeah. you have certain yeah, exactly. uh, items or whatever. And it's just it's a simple and fun little background thing to run yeah. while you're rep work or doing whatever. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. It's fun. I have and one weird. going as well, but it's mm-hmm. I'm I you know, whatever. I I I might have two, but that's not the point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not. That's not. Let's not dwell on that. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Give me just a second. Mm. What are you doing? What are you doing? What? Oh, he's going to. He's going. Yeah, be dispersing of our unwelcome guest. Uh, and he's returned. All right, I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> he's been over there on the wall. Trying to intimidate me, and I just want, I had to take care of it. Yes, thank All you. Right. No problem. There's another one right yeah. there. <laughs> uh huh. 
Uh, well, I, yeah. uh, yep, we are under attack. <laughs> this is not the first time this has happened. No, but... This might be just mean that we're in a... Our shoot studio is a shithole. <laughs> Let's just be honest. Yeah, it's kind of overrun. This building well, was built in the 1950s. Well, it's also that time of year where there's lot, lots of... It was hot. It's and hot. they're coming out of hibernation and mm-hmm. all that stuff. We need to go back we to... Can't, we, can't, we can't fault them for their evolution. Mm-hmm. Yes, we can. <laughs> I can destroy them all. Uh-huh. Um, anyway. So, yeah, I've been not playing Cookie Clicker, uh-huh. if that makes sense. You've been just... I've been observing it take clickers. over your life. Yeah, watching for them golden cookies to pop up every once in a while. Mm-hmm. The uh, golden cookies are... That's kind of what holds you, I think. Is that you're, you're, you always have it up on your second screen, and you're uh-huh. just like always... You get where you just get good at seeing golden cookies mm-hmm. out of your peripheral. Uh-huh. It's weird. I've been weirdly lucky. Like, my, when I first was playing it, it was like I could never find one. Mm-hmm. But here lately, like, I just want it's just running on my computer. I wander into the room, and I glance over, and every time there's a co- gold mm-hmm. cookie there, I'm like, ah! And I run, I'm running over and clicking it real quick. Yeah. Like, every time. Like I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's you if you don't click one for a while, it comes up more often. I don't know. Maybe um, it's like more. It comes up more ri- uh, more often if you uh, you haven't clicked one in a while. Mm-hmm. So that's my guess. Maybe yeah. I also think it's more common because I've gotten two of the upgrades that make them more common. Yeah, so that's yeah, that's, that's a big part. Um, it, anyway. I don't I don't know. It's not really a game. No, but it's engaging me. Yeah, and I can't figure out why. And here's the thing, Daniel. What it will never end. I know. It, there's no end. Yeah. In fact, there's a a system in place for. It's called Legacy. After you get in so many, you, restart. you can di- you can restart with perks mm-hmm. and like like some kind of RPG scale of mm-hmm. skill tree thing. Yeah, I don't know, but there's really no. I'm gonna end. walk the path. See where there's it takes no me. end. Yeah, I know there's no. Eventually, end. Eventually, what you're gonna have to do is just stop. Yeah, and that's what I did. Mm-hmm. I went through uh, some some, some AA meetings. <laughs> um, I admitted I had a problem. Uh huh. Um, I started and, uh, off with this, this episode. Started off this conversation with "I have a problem," so yes. I'm already there. No, well, you, I know it's a What's problem. I just, Most, I just, everyone who stop. has a problem knows it's a problem. It's a they, problem, whether they're willing to do anything about it. Well, yeah, I'm not. That's a, you're still got a problem. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I didn't say it was a problem. I wanted to do away with, uh-huh, that's, like the tapeworm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. You have a tapeworm, <laughs> fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, did you play anything else? <laughs> uh, well, I have been playing Diplomacy uh-huh. to the max. Uh-huh. <laughs> How about you? Um, let's just not talk about it. Oh, diplomacy. you don't want to talk about it? No, because... No, we had to no, talk about it last Why week. should I talk about it? No one wants to talk to me about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, uh, there's a hint of bitterness there. No, it's Actually, just... it's not a hint. It's, it's, it's a... Uh, Overwhelming flavor. <laughs> um, well, it, it doesn't help when and when the three people that are closer to you won't talk to you. I'm talking to you. Yeah, about anything useful <laughs> to me <laughs> at all. You're just angry that because the people you're invading of Romania, me. The people you invaded. Well, that's not the problem. I, no, 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 no. is not I the problem. I did not invade you. I did not invade you. Yeah, I you did. nearly took back what you took from me. Uh huh. But you invaded me first. And Which is I fine. I, I expected that, uh-huh. but I, what I did, what I wasn't expecting, was your uh, Austria helping you to do so. Oh yeah. So y'all's alliance is a problem. Oh, is that so? <laughs> um, but you know, <laughs> you, whatever. You, so you don't like the way I did it. No, it? I mean, you were gonna take it. You had no reason not ni- to use his help. <laughs> I just don't understand why he helped you. <laughs> because it doesn't I'm make just, any sense. Because I'm a swell guy. People like me. No, well, the thing and is, he like could have been bear. like. He could have been like, literally, he could have just been like, oh, yeah, I'll help you, done nothing, mm-hmm. and taken a country People from you. People respect the mighty Russian bear. Well, that's just the fact. They can't, he they might, can't, he, he can respect you the power. all day. He can respect you all day because he, you're going to wipe them they all see, out. They see the power that the bear has. Um, and, and, they, and they feel the need to be subjugated by it. Uh, well, apparently, because <laughs> they're just bending over for you. 
<laughs> you're just trying to turn everyone against you because you're bitter. No, I mean, I not against me, against me because you're bitter. Well, it's, that's it's all true, it though. It's I mean, not true. You have nine units. That's that's not the point. The, the point closest is, second is six, and that's Germany. That's only recent. Uh, uh, they're going to catch up. What do you mean recent? As, yeah, like, He's well, been within, at six for a while. No, I'm saying me at that nine is only recent. Mm-hmm. And so you know, yeah. it's gonna people are gonna start catching up. Uh-huh. People are gonna start dropping out. Uh huh. And by drop out, I mean wiped out. Uh huh. We'll, we'll see about fact. that. We That's will just, see about that. You know, you gotta accept the new world order. Mm-hmm. I with the bear I at the top. I don't. You know, whatever. I'm probably gonna lose. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. You're so uh, You're but so better. That's fine. <laughs> like you were. <laughs> When I took one country from you, you were so mad. I was angry. So don't I give was me not any bitter. of that. You were very angry. <laughs> I was angry. And there were some punches and thrown. And then I moved on. I don't uh, know what you're talking about. So don't give me this. I can be bitter all day. At least I'm not violent. Uh, but anyway, I just, you know, I, I offer, you know, sound reason and no one wants to That's hear it. That's all you ever do is like, I'm being a reasonable person. Dudley. Well, yeah. I'm me, Dudley. Me being reasonable. Uh huh. Why is nobody listening to me? Because you're not the bear, Dudley. Well, I'm the bear. I'm trying to prevent the bear from eating the fucking country. <laughs> but y'all don't. No one cares apparently. Because they cannot. They know they can't stop. They're it. all single-minded. <laughs> I'm just like, all right. Maybe, maybe some of them are friends of the bear. Well, they want to be, but they're, uh-huh. they're stupid. The if bear they think... has many allies. Uh huh. And <laughs> the bear, if they think. I'm not calling you the fucking bear. <laughs> uh, the, <laughs> the <laughs> if they think that befriending you is a the good bear. thing, uh, then they're stupid. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, but you know, whatever. I mean, they have to. I mean, that's no, their, they don't. That's their only choice. That's not their only choice. I, I can. The bear giveth, and the bear can take away. <laughs> well, all they're doing is is. Is pushing on to their demise. Uh-huh. That's all they're doing. Okay, that's, and that's if they the don't realize that, it. that's the way you see it. And if they don't realize it, whatever. Uh-huh. So, uh, so we'll, I, I think everybody who's been listening to the show can get a, a fair uh, understanding of some of the emotions that come out while playing this game. Mm-hmm. And you know, it's it is a true um, test of friendship, I believe. It is, yeah. If you want to call it that. <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> let's not dwell on this <laughs> at all. Because you're just so bitter. Um, anyway. <laughs> Is that, it, did it, you play it, anything else? Um, not that I can recall. I, I played a little bit of um, Moonlighters and a few other things, but nothing nothing new to really yeah. talk about. I've l- been looking at a couple of games yeah. that I really am interested in. Yeah. Uh, we but, have a new game that we haven't played. Yes, we have. We, uh, uh, we, there's a Kickstarter mm-hmm. for a game called uh, Map Maker. Uh, the, the gerrymandering it's game. It's a, a gerrymandering. Uh, mm-hmm. If you're not familiar with gerrymander, it's the, it's uh, the it's a political, a political tactic. thing, a tactic where uh, politicians remap districts. They redraw, to, yeah, districts so that they can get their demographics or whatever. So they can stay in office. Yeah. But anyway, so yeah. the game is basically that. Yes. Um, it's you. You have to play our politician mm-hmm. uh, for a certain political group, mm-hmm. and you're trying to r- draw the map to favor you. And uh, it looks pretty good. We haven't played it yet. We have not. No, uh, uh, they, they gave us a print to play copy. Yes. Uh, the, the there's a Kickstarter for it, mm-hmm. uh, and it's uh, it's it's pretty interesting. It's yeah. It's siblings. Mm-hmm. Uh, Texas siblings, so, oh, yeah. so uh, fellow Texans, fellow Texans. Uh-huh. Um, uh, there's it's uh, Luis, Rebecca. I think it's Luis. I, I assume I'm pronouncing that right. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rebecca and Josh Lafair. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can find them on Kickstarter if you yeah, just, just search, search for Map Maker uh, or Gerrymandering. Yeah, Gerrymandering uh, game. If you, board game. There are other things called Map Maker. So, but yeah, if you look for a Map Maker or Gerrymandering game mm-hmm. on Kickstarter, you'll find it. Yeah, they, it's still going. They have 15 days yes. at this point. Uh, at this recording, mm-hmm. they had fifty thousand dollars. Yes, of their fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah, goal. so they've already made their goal. They already made their goal. So, so it's a done deal. It's happening. It's happening. It's yeah. If you want to get a copy of it, yeah. 
Um, it looks good. Yeah. It um, ends the August 7th is the last day. Yes. So if you want to jump in on it, uh, that's, that's how long you have. Uh-huh. Um, um, we haven't played it yet. No. We're, we're hopefully, we'll, yeah, we we'll had get a, a chance. We had a full week. weekend, so we and haven't we can, had a chance. Uh, yeah. We can uh, talk about it. Yeah, we'll uh, definitely play it before the next weekend. I yeah, think, so we'll and uh, we'll give our our opinions mm-hmm. on it, and yeah. um, hopefully they they do well. It looks fun. I read over the rules, mm-hmm. and it, it's fairly simple. It's not complicated. Well, so, yeah, uh, and it I, I it looks fun. I'm I'm really anxious to try it out. It yeah. looks like a fun game. It's like I like I like how it just takes a basic idea and a basic premise and boils it down into yeah. an abstract way. And I'm looking forward to giving it a go. Cool. So, yeah, uh, so if you you want to go check that out, the Kickstarter is going until the 7th. And uh, if you want to get yourself a copy of it, it's like $38 for a, a, oh, an actual board okay. game copy. There you go. You can get the print to play for $10. Oh, there you so go. So if you, you're cheap, you can uh, do that. <laughs> or poor. Or it's poor. Cheap. Don't call them cheap. No. If Some you're of poor are just, are or just cheap, poor. you get the $10 one. Okay. There you go. <laughs> uh, so go <laughs> check it out. Uh, yeah. Our fellow Texans. And, yeah, uh, and twins. Two and of them are twins, apparently. Oh, well, there you go. They're, I would, yeah, they're well. not real twins. They're, <laughs> they're, you know, not like us. They're, they, no, they're uh, but fraternal they, twins? Yes. Uh, yeah, the fake those twins. aren't real twins. Those are the fake twins. I mean, they don't look alike no, that no. much. No. I'm no more than a regular brother or sister. I mean, it's not like they had to deal with real problems. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. That means I have to look like you. Oh. Uh, well, you have the privilege of looking like if me. If you want to say it that way, that's your, <laughs> your business. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway. Anyway. So that's how uh, we've already kind of segued into news. That, yeah, that's let's talk about news. news. Um, but um, a couple of things. Octopath Traveler released. It's mm-hmm. been two weeks ago now. Yeah, I haven't uh, bought it yet. I keep thinking about it. I, I want to. Um, it, I was kind of intrigued how the uh, eight players or eight characters thing works. Yeah. Um, apparently, it's like you can have a party of four people. Okay. And you can, while as you have the while you have those characters in your party, you can do their missions. Okay. Um, and it's kind of a tier thing where you do one. It's like a you know, level one, mm-hmm. and you, you keep match. After you do one part, you can go up to the next part. Oh, okay. Uh, and you can play it all like at the same time. Do all of them one, uh-huh. and then move up to the next one, next one. Or you can do like four of a con- four at a time. And I've read the suggestion is do pick four characters, play through all theirs, and then do a play through it again with You'd four other, other characters, other four characters? And do, okay. and you can play the whole thing. Okay. Uh, in two goes. Uh, it sounds interesting. Yeah, it looks, it looks interesting. interesting. It's, I, it's, a, it's a beautiful game. I played the beta. It was great. Yeah, I it's played the, really solid. I played the demo that they had. Um, uh, so it's it's a pretty game. I like the combat system. Uh, the art is amazing. It is really pretty. Um, I it, like it, a pretty game. Mm-hmm. Um, Fortnite uh, just uh, started their new season. Oh yeah. Um, it's got go karts, new locations. Yeah, I saw some funny videos of go karts doing yeah. new things. Um. And all the cracked universes, so stuff are popping in. And yeah, things, yeah, we talked things. about it a couple of weeks ago. I think about how some weird little thing popped up in the real world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it it, it ties into that. So yeah. there's new. It's changing the map basically, yeah. and so they they can add new stuff and take old stuff out. Uh-huh. Um, so it's, that's pretty cool. A good, interesting uh, way to keep this game the same, but also change it a lot of ways. Yeah, keep it fresh. Keep it fresh. Uh, Stardew Valley. Yes. The multiplayer. Oh, yeah, yeah. I goes about live that. for PC on August 1st. Nice. So only a week away or so. Mm-hmm. Um, what about for the Switch version? I, I don't switch know. To the Switch version. Uh, uh, they haven't announced a date yet for the console <sighs> version, but it's supposed to be coming. Okay. So. I, I, yeah. It looks like a cool game to play with other people. It would, it seems interesting. Uh-huh. Which is why you need to get a copy of Raft so we can share a Raft yeah. together. We can we can yeah, sail away cost money wherever is. the current takes us I on a Raft. I to play your copy for free. We can't because we got to play multiplayer. Uh, you got to get 20 bucks, Dudley. It's not a lot. Okay, okay, fine. fine, <laughs> fine. I will buy it and we can play it together. Okay. An unrelated note. Uh-huh. Can I borrow $20? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Sure. All right. Moving on. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, 
uh, there's a Spider-Man PS4 coming out. Have you seen I it? I saw it. It looks, it looks pretty nice. I, I saw it, and I immediately thought of you. It's red. Yeah, exactly. That's why um, I thought of you. I don't know about the giant spider on the side of it. It looks cool. It looks it's cool. It's one of the cooler Spider-Man logos. Yeah, um, it, yeah it's, it looks good. Yeah. I mean, it's for the new game that's coming yeah. out. Uh, so you're going to get one? No. Oh, come on, mm-hmm. Natalie. You like red. I do like red. Red is your favorite color. But I, I, not gonna, I already have a PlayStation. Why would I buy another? Because it's red. <laughs> you want to say that? I the... say it because it's red. Uh-huh. I say you, it's red. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Let's, um, uh, let's stop that right now. Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> um, anything where you don't talk is wonderful. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, you want me to talk now while you're having a coughing fit? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, but my, you didn't want I me to I literally talk. lost my voice uh-huh. as soon as I said that. Uh-huh. That's uh, ca- you know what that's called, Dudley? Uh, karma. Coincidence. That's karma. Uh, <laughs> irony. <laughs> irony. That, uh, it is that. Um, <laughs> uh, it comes out September 7th, so okay. if you want to grab a PlayStation 4 with a Spider-Man logo on the side of it. I mean, I need to get one. And a good color. I need to get one. Uh-huh. I just do. I don't know if I'll get that one. Uh, you know, maybe maybe they'll come out with a Red Dead Redemption mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. Probably that would not. That would be cool. I don't think so. It's not exclusive. So yeah, probably not. Not likely. No. Uh, but yeah, uh, in other PlayStation ish news, mm-hmm. and they don't have to be exclusive. I mean the 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 Star Wars what is it called Battle Battlefront Battlefront game? It's not exclusive. No, it, it had they had a they had a really cool looking PS4 for them. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, so maybe maybe mm-hmm. mayhaps you don't know what you're talking. It about. It just depends on what deals are made behind mm-hmm. the scenes. So we'll see. Okay. Um. Before I got sidetracked, yes, uh, uh, there was a Uncharted fan film put out yeah. this week mm-hmm. that had uh, Nathan Fillion mm-hmm. in the part of Nathan Drake, uh-huh. and I watched it. I just realized they have the same first name. They do. I didn't remember that because I've never played the game. <laughs> it's a good. G- I've only played one of them. Yeah, <laughs> um, it I, looks I fun. played the, the the most recent one, which yeah. is a good game. Yeah. Um. Did you watch the fan film? I I I watched some clips of it. I I didn't. I, I mean, didn't it's only fourteen minutes. Yeah, I I didn't watch. I didn't watch it with sound or anything. I just kind of skimmed it. Yeah, I, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Does it hit I all mean, the right marks? Mm, Does it check the boxes? A really? little too well. Does it check if the I, boxes? If I'm gonna complain about it, you it's want some like, more originality? I well, no. It just feels like they were just too on the nose with the 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 fan film thing and mm-hmm. you know it's like yes I'm Nathan Drake mm-hmm. and this is me doing Nathan Drake things and okay. I was like okay it's fine I mean, I mean it's, it's good it's well made <laughs> it is a fan film and that's what they're I mean the whole thing's about it's a little service. self-serving but you know well, that's the whole point I mean I they're never gonna make true. a movie with with him playing no, Nathan Drake so he might as well happen. make a fan film cause that's all it is cause yeah. that's what the fans wanted he made a film it's fan service yes so why not be on the nose yeah Sorry, I've you doing a out twist over there. I I freaked out because something touched my leg and it was my my cable. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> my headphone mm-hmm. wire rubbed my leg and I freaked out for a second. Uh-huh. Um. Anyway, here in Wasp House. Yeah. So if you're a fan of uh, Uncharted, mm-hmm. watch the. I should have asked uh, Ham what he thought of it. Yeah. He's a. I'm sure he has an opinion. Uh, I'm sure. I should ask him. He is our resident uh Uncharted gamer. I I played. He one played of them. all of them. Though. He played all of them. That's true. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so was, you know, I'm going to go to the person with the master's degree, not the bachelor's. <laughs> that's a weird analogy. I don't know. I, that's just what popped in my head. So uh-huh. you know. Anyway, let's just roll with it. <laughs> uh, speaking of clicker games. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we talked about that a little bit ago. <laughs> yes, it's a bit yeah. of a leap, but okay, go ahead. Uh, clicker hero. Yes, uh, it's a. It's basically kind of same premise of. Cookie Clicker? Yeah. Except it, it's an adventure? Yes. Um, the second one just it came It requires out. way more clicking than click, Cookie Clicker. Yeah. Uh, Clicker Hero 2 mm-hmm. came out. But that... that I don't really care about the game. Yeah. But there is one part of it that interests me. Oh, okay. The first one was heavy on the microtransaction. Oh, yeah? It was free to play. Yeah. But it had microtransactions. Yeah. And the company made the decision... 
that the second one would not have microtransactions okay. at all. So there are no microtransactions in the second game, okay. which is why it's a $30 game. Oh, <laughs> because we just want the money up front now. Well, and they, I read the article, and it's actually pretty interesting. They were talking about they had several people spend thousands of dollars on that game, Jeez. and they like we they didn't even design the game to be yeah you know require a microtransaction yeah. or anything. And like in fact, they were like they felt they weird about taking it first a thousand dollars kind of add it. And they said they didn't really like that someone spent a thousand dollars yeah in, and in their in their game. And has would, even said if the, one of those people wants a refund, we will they will give, give it money. to them. Yeah, and I am. Liking this, I like. This. Yeah, because they realize this is the, someone has like an issue. <laughs> well, it's there's a or trend. too much money. I guess that a, they just have too much money. There's a trend. Or it could be kids. Yeah. I yeah, mean, I, that's I hope really it's not it. kids. I hope it's just some some trust fund baby who's just like, yeah, whatever. I got a th- I got a grand. I can blow on this because yeah. I have a ton of money. But you never know, and it's hard to say know. in those situations. But it is. There's a trend right now. Doing away with microtransactions. They should, as there should be, because they're dumb. <laughs> yeah. Um, they've done it. They, uh, Shadow of War, the yeah. new uh, mortar game. Yes. Just w- remove shadow uh, microtransactions. Mm-hmm. I think it's a different reason, because no one bought that game. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> any incentive to play it now is probably a good thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, it's it's kind of interesting. I, I just you know, and I get it. There are some games their whole their home funding is microtransactions. Yes. like like Fortnite for example, mm-hmm. free to play. The only way they make money is if you pay money for it. Mm-hmm. If you pay them stuff, but buy stuff in game, and it works. And it I works because people do it. I don't understand it. I have, uh, will never ever buy anything. I can't say no. I never will, but it's very unlikely. I haven't done it yet. I not no comment. Mm-hmm. Um, but. The yeah, I don't. Uh, I just I don't know. But I I respect them for doing that. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's a game worth thirty dollars though. Um. Well, the, apparently the new one's pretty good. It looks cool. It's a pretty game. Yeah, it's a little bit it, different than yeah, the first like, one. Yeah, you're actually it's traversing kinda a, a land. Yeah, it, but it, but you're not. It's a single path, and you're going one direction. It's kind of yeah. done. It looks like um like a Diablo Diablo isometric thing, thing. except. You move one direction. There's no yeah. like exploring or running around. You're just well, fighting. You know, you're fighting clicking. a row of monsters because it's clicking. Uh-huh. And I got the old mobile version of it mm-hmm. just to check it out. The second one or the first one? First one. Yeah. And I, I had it for about ten minutes. and I went, "This isn't cookie clicker," and I got rid of it. Well, I mean, it's not trying to be. It's not trying to be. But so. in my mind, I was thinking, "Oh, it's like a, he- a fantasy monster fighting version of cookie clicker," mm-hmm. and it wasn't. And it required too much of me poking my screen, and I yeah. was like, I, I don't want, I don't need this. Yeah. And so I, 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 I moved on. Moved on but with your life. I moved on with my life. Back to Cookie Clicker. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, Kickstarter. Yes, that is. You're thing. familiar with it. I, we were just talking about it, so yes. Yes, we're very familiar with it. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I have Kickstartered. Two okay. Kickstarters have been shut down this week. Oh, really? Uh, both board games. Okay. Both for two different reasons. Okay. First off, and I had been hearing about this for a couple of weeks now, actually. Yeah. There's this board game called Overturned mm-hmm. um, that was being kickstarted, and I just I'm I'm in a like a board game Facebook group yeah. thing, and I'd see random stuff. And yeah. Mostly just see games. Yeah. Um, but er, this one kept coming up, yeah. and there was a lot of like, it got a lot of support initially. Yeah. And got a lot of funding yeah. really quickly because yeah. it's got miniatures and all yeah. kinds of and people all go the nuts people for miniatures. Go nuts for, yeah. yeah, and come to find out, there's a lot of plagiarism involved with the like, game correction. Like in what way? Like some of the rules for the game were stolen from another game. Ugh. Like picked up and just placed. Like they in. just copied and pasted. Yeah. Also, the logo for the company uh, is a ripoff of Firefox. <laughs> Like the Firefox logo? Well, one of the Firefox oh. logos. It's like the, there's one that has a long mm. tail thing, and they just stole that huh. straight from them. Because the, the company called Foxtail, uh-huh. and there was also some discussion about where they were actually based. Mm. Uh, because according to the Kickstarter, they were based in Canada. When in some of the Q&A stuff, apparently it came out they were actually based in Pakistan. <laughs> Huh. Um. So the whole thing maybe a sham. 
that was the discussion, and with the plagiarism and some of the other stuff, uh-huh. it kind of came down to a lot of people were like, okay, they were pulling out of it, like yeah. backing out. And yeah. then finally Kickstarter uh, suspended shut it, it. Shut it down. Shut it down. Um, because there's just too many questionable things going on. Yeah, with it. that's like the 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 risk of some some of the risk, and I'm glad they caught it. Yeah, and it got stopped. But like, yeah, it's just like one, you never know if you're gonna actually get anything. Yeah, and and there's no guarantee that what you get is what you thought you were paying for. Yeah, because uh, stuff changes. And that well, the upside to this is I'm really happy with the community. Yeah, around it that they were able to come together and realize, hey, mm-hmm. there's something wrong with this, and yeah. brought attention to it. Yeah, and that's how the reason it got stopped. Yeah. So, good job, community. Yeah, yay, community. You're doing stuff. You're doing not stuff. the Dan Harmon television show. <laughs> it did stuff, but not no. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, but another board game got shut down for a different reason. Mm-hmm. A Doctor Horrible sing along blog board game. <laughs> Let me guess. They didn't have the rights to it. They did not. <laughs> <laughs> they they spent a lot of time developing so they, this they game. Didn't get, they didn't get, get permission from Josh Whedon. They that's, did not get permission exactly from Josh Whedon and whoever else owns the license. Yeah, him and like another guy, I think, who, yeah. who co-wrote it. Or whatever. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a company behind yeah. it, too. But uh, mm-hmm. uh, they did not get permission. <laughs> To We're just going to make a game off of an IP without actually getting rights to it. Yeah, and I mean, that happens a lot. Yeah. But most times they go, hey, let's try to get the license at some point before we try to get money. Yeah. And, or, you know, change the I guess, theme. Yeah, some people, I, I guess they think, you know, some, and I guess it sometimes maybe happens where they think, oh, we got this great idea. Maybe if we get enough people interested in it, they'll, they'll give us the license for it. Yeah. But, uh, I, I, uh, mm. No, I don't. It's don't, a good don't, way to waste a lot of time. It seems to me that that way. Yeah. Um, and so what? But the person behind it was pretty optimistic mm-hmm. that they would eventually get the license. Mm-hmm. But that the the Kickstarter was shut down. Well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, until you know they can figure that out. Until they actually get the the rights to do it. Yeah. Um. And another game that got shut down this uh-huh. week. Yeah. Uh, Jeez, I thought you said there were two. This is not Kickstarter oh, related. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is an actual full game. Oh, okay. Released last week. So, The Calling? Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw something about this. The, I didn't even know they made a second one. I didn't either. We played The Calling. Yeah. We, it's a, you know, Battle yeah, Royale fun, style. It was, uh, yeah, early Battle Royale fun little stuff. And yeah. we, we have it. We played it a little bit at Lands uh, yeah. and stuff. And it was it's uh, it's all right. It's yeah. Fun. It's a fine game. Yeah. Um, But it, they made a sequel to it. Which I didn't even know. I like, didn't either. I thought, you know, isn't The Calling fairly fresh? <laughs> um, And apparently it was so bad. And, like, so bad. Yeah. They... It's they after a week of being out, got so many bad reviews. They Please. stopped it, yeah, shut it down, and took it off Steam. Wow! And did they're going to focus on the first game now. Did they refund people or? Uh, I think yes. No. Yes. Wow. So anyone who bought it, they refund them. Yeah, uh, we made this one, but let's not play that anymore. Let's just forget about it. Let's well, everybody just forget this happened and go back to the first one. Yeah, pretty much. And now they're going to update the first one more. <laughs> okay. Um. Which, you know, when you have a game kind of like that, you think you would just focus on one game and just keep updating it. Like, you I know, guess, Fortnite does. They have events yeah, and I, all that stuff. That, that's, it's kind of weird. I guess it's, I guess they thought, oh, we're going to just build a whole new one from the yeah. ground up, and people will migrate to that one. And I guess they didn't go for they it. They did not, because <laughs> apparently, <laughs> like, day two of the release, there were, like, two people playing. Wow. Like, like nobody was playing. No it. one was playing. Wow. It. it was really, really bad. Oh. Um, you think they would at least be playing it for the first week? Oh, apparently not. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so wow. that happened. No, oh, well, a game lived for a week and then died. Uh huh. The same week. Mm-hmm. It's Solomon Grundy, born on born a on Monday, <laughs> died on a Sunday. Uh huh. Anyway, um, any other news you want to talk about? Mm, no, no. Yeah, no. I'm looking at my list. It's it's. Uh, I covered it all. You don't even have a list. I have a list. Oh, well, okay. What's I, on your list? Uh, we covered it all. I right. told you. Yep. There, there, we, there's just nothing l- quickly there's nothing in the last couple of minutes. No, just nothing, tell me There's nothing exactly. on my list that we haven't already talked about. So there's so, nothing on your list. That's not what I said. 
That sounds we covered like everything a, that we were that was on my list, which is nothing. It's not, that's not that's not accurate. So give me one thing that's on your uh, list. The Kickstarter for uh, Mac Maker. That's it's on here. Okay, it's right here. I have it written right here. Anything else? Um, that, that everything we covered is on my list. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Let me see it. No, you, uh, that would be too much trouble. You you're on the other side of the I desk. I can come around. No, you don't. You don't need to. Uh huh. That's not necessary. Like you write anything down for the show. I write everything for the show. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> if you say so. Let's just let's just call it done, so I can go back and check how many cookies I have. Uh huh. You I'm I'm, I'm you not. have a problem. <laughs> you, you need to stop the uh-huh. cookie clicks. I am a cookie monster. <laughs> <laughs> that would be weird if he popped up at the game. It would be. It's just like it, it, if you it, get to it, a certain an point, IP problem. Cookie, cookie Monster just it'd be an IP across. problem. Yeah, but, um, but yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, anything right. else you want to cover? No. Okay. You're just so bitter about diplomacy. Uh, you it. can go You're... screw yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't help that you invaded a country and those people then pushed you out. That's all that happened. They the the people spoke and then shoved you out. Mm-hmm. Pushed you back to where you came. Which is fine. <laughs> it's not fine, but apparently. <laughs> the future invasion is the problem. Right, I have a problem. Uh, you don't know that there's a future invasion. Why wouldn't there be? Why, why would there be? <laughs> Please go to our website at deafanddumb.com. That's D-E-A-F-N-D-U-M-B.com. And uh, please, there are links there. You can subscribe to us. You can follow us. And uh, please share us to all your friends. You mm-hmm. have friends, don't you? Don't you? Yes, they all listen to the show. No, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the listeners, Dudley. Uh, it's not always about you. Uh huh. Yes, you gotta, it is. you gotta rein in the narcissism. It says the rein person it in. who has to you know, rein it in. <laughs> keep talking all the uh, time. <laughs> uh-huh. You can find us on iTunes and Google Play and Stitcher and everything. Uh, we're on YouTube now, mm-hmm. so uh, yes. if, you, if that is your preferred medium, mm-hmm. you can find us there. Yes, ninety nine percent of us is on YouTube. Ninety nine percent. Is that the exact math? I don't know. You don't know. You didn't do it. There's no science involved. <laughs> yeah, well, you could do the math. I There's mean, no math involved. <laughs> I mean, there could. You could. There okay. could be math. There's 127 episodes uh-huh. with this one. Uh-huh. Four of them are not on there. Okay. So that's, I mean, that's, that's pretty close to mm-hmm. 99%, yeah. right? That's why I didn't do math. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, we're going to put out a new episode every Monday, as we have been doing forever. And uh, please keep listening. Thank you very much for listening. I'm Dan May. And I'm Dudley May. And this has been Deaf and Dumb. Business or pleasure?